Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about our carbon platforms. We have many. You can go into the shop section of our website and see it. Speaker amp, drum, DAW, listening, subs. Low frequency management is best positioned as close to the energy source as you can or as close to a room boundary surface as you can because that's the areas of highest energy. Take an SPL meter and measure the output of your sub, uh, a meter away if you will. Measure the pressure, the same pressure and same frequency at the room boundary surface. You see those are very two high areas of pressure. So that's where we want to locate our, st our sources of treatment, as close to the surface areas of those surfaces as we can. Room walls, highest pressure next to the location of the source, okay? So if you have a subwoofer, pressure is going to be high around the subwoofer. That's why you keep them away from the walls. You don't want to increase that pressure. And then, of course, along the wall. So what do the sub-platforms do? They elevate, isolate, and attenuate. That's critical when you're dealing with low frequency energy. Speaker platforms, they do the same thing. Elevate, isolate, and attenuate. You won't believe the difference in your low end of your speaker when you put them on our platforms. It just tightens up dramatically. And when it tightens up, you hear more. The resolution increases. So when you hear more with a higher resolution, you play at lower volumes. People turn up because they want more. That's self-defeating. You don't want to do that. You want to increase the resolution of your room so you can play at normal, comfortable levels, okay? The DAW and the listening platforms, we sell a lot of these, uh, especially to the engineers, because that floor-to-ceiling dimension produces a lot of low-frequency pressures. 60, 70, 80 cycle pressure that has to be managed. And you're not going to manage it with foam and you're not going to manage it with you know other types of materials you got to use a pressure activated device they're heavy you don't want to put necessarily hang them on the ceiling at 200 pounds a piece so you put them on the floor because remember the room only sees energy if you have a floor to ceiling boundary problem eight foot seven foot ugh, ceiling heights then you have a high pressure in the low frequencies at that location. So how are you going to treat it? Well, you have two options, the floor or the ceiling, because those are the two options that are producing the most problems. If you put a thousand pounds of platforms on the floor, that's okay. But hanging a thousand pounds of platforms from the ceiling is not advisable. Most rooms, you just treat one of those two surface areas. Sometimes you have to do both, but very rarely, maybe five to eight percent of the cases we see you have to do both so it's either floor or ceiling and the platform works best on the floor drums unbelievable We've, we're going to do a whole series of videos on our drum platform shortly uh, and get actual testimony for from drummers that use them if you raise the drums off the floor you're going to improve frequency response in the room even with drums just like you do regular speakers you're going to isolate, you're going to minimize the vibration transfer from the drums to the floor, the contact surface, and then you're going to attenuate, you're going to absorb energy. Remember, absorbing energy as close to the source is a viable way to do it. Let's talk about a New York example uh, we had a couple weeks ago. Of course, I've lived in New York. I think a lot of you have or are familiar with it. It's a lot of people. It's a high density living uh, sometimes a little bit too much but anyway there's a lot of density so people live on top of each other and there's a lot of musicians in New York so we constantly get complaints from people about drummers because you know that's producing a lot of energy a kick drum you know can travel up to 300 yards so you have to be very careful in a, an apartment building so it's really a noise transmission issue, if you think about it. Noise is transmitting from the drums through the structure into the next uh, living area. So you want to reduce that. And sound absorption technologies like our platform are really not designed for sound isolation. You know, that's barrier technology. It's completely different. However, here's what happens. The platforms work so well that they lower the pressure levels that the person plays at. Less pressure, less noise transmission. And they're elevated, so the response in the room is better, the musician plays quieter, and there's less energy that gets transmitted 
through the floor. So here's a technique where sound absorption, especially at lower frequencies, reduces the amount of energy that's transmitted. It doesn't stop it, it reduces it. And that reduction, you know, can fall below what we call nuisance value. So the people stop complaining in the apartments above and below and off to the sides. So it works. There's a good example. Elevate. Increase the distance from the surface to the instrument. Always a good idea. Just like you don't put your speakers against walls, you don't put subwoofers in the corners of the room, keep them away from those boundary surfaces. We're trying to increase resolution, not increase distortion. Okay, that's very, very critical. Isolation. Speakers, subwoofers, all kinds of things produce sound through vibration. When it transmits from the, the source, the speaker, to the floor, you actually get the floor moving and turning it into a diaphragmatic situation, which produces energy. So that's always welcome to isolate from vibration. Tenuate, of course, absorption is the main objective here. We're trying to absorb. And you won't find a product that absorbs at a higher rate and level than our carbon. There simply is a, there are none on the marketplace. If you see one that has better data than ours, send it to me. I'd like to see it. I don't think you will, okay? Modular units, all of our platforms are modular. So you can, uh, for a DAW, you can start with an eight by eight platform. You want a little bit more surface area coverage for a little bit more performance. You can increase and get more modules. So everything is designed to deal with pressure. And that's the main goal of all the platforms because you want to uh, isolate, attenuate, and elevate to reduce the pressure. That's the goal of the platforms. So I hope this overview helps a little with our carbon platforms. Go on the shop section. You can see a lot of, of our platforms there. In fact, all of them, hopefully. <laughs> and, and you can read about them and go from there. If you have any questions, obviously fill out that room form, free room analysis, top left corner of the uh, homepage. Send in your data so I can look at it and schedule a 15-minute call. You'll be sent numerous uh, reminders for the call. Make sure you have the website up and running. So between the information you sent me and the website up and run, running, problem, solution, problem, solution, problem, solution, cost. You'll be able to see what you need to spend to solve your problem. Carbon Platforms, I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.